honestly, it's gonna just suck. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Living in a one-bedroom apartment is, is hard sometimes, especially when you're mad at each other. We're like, dude, this is the new normal. So what are some ways, habits, whatever, fill in the blank, that can help us truly live in this time and, and to feel our best and healthiest? Six months into our marriage, quarantine hit. Has our relationship changed because of quarantine? Yes, definitely. <laughs> we went from, we feel like going from thriving in our relationship to just like surviving in our relationship. And there are five specific reasons why we believe that is so. Check them out. One of the five ways our relationship has changed during quarantine has to do with intimacy. Mm -hmm. Just going straight into it, just a few nights ago, we were walking yeah. and there was a lot of tension building and we're like, what the heck are we feeling inside? I've realized that in this season, my needs and desires and all of that have changed. Mm -hmm. And I really needed to articulate that and, and express it to Jake. And that was super hard. We were walking in like dead silence trying to figure out what the heck is going on between us like date nights have been thrown out the window or let's just say it looks different and we're like we need to be more intentional mm -hmm. yeah so like our hard. date nights have been the last three or four months during quarantine a lot of just watching movies at night um and to give ourselves a little bit of credit like during quarantine it's been really freaking hard for anyone to yeah. thrive during the relationship so quarantine has kind of thrown our date night thing um Loop. kind of out the window at least for a little bit I mean, we were going on dates but we weren't talking about it being a date or being very intentional about it right so i'm like i, I need love like mm -hmm. tell me more yeah yeah <laughs> that's been a really probably one of the toughest things that we've actually just uncovered out of the rubble just yesterday, we were intentional as mm -hmm. after we tied that conversation and we got pizza and we went walking with coffee. Yeah. It was a really special day yesterday and mm -hmm. we really more than once declared that it was a date. Right. Which is so <laughs> funny that works. Like, it's not a date if you don't say it's a date, but it is a date if you just say it is, even though you might be doing the exact same stuff. All right. So declaring it's a date actually made a big difference for us, yeah. really. So we more meaningful. We'll declare dates more often. <laughs> yes. The fourth way our relationship has changed during quarantine is our friendships, which affects our relationship. <laughs> We've noticed that Zoom yeah. works if you want to kind of have fun or play a game, but when it comes to emotional intimacy with like friendships, it doesn't really work. We tried it with Julia yeah. and Noah, some of our really good friends, and it worked. It was fun, but after like 45 minutes, we were both I probably all bored. Why? Just because we weren't in person. It, it makes it more dynamic when you're in person, obviously. Face-to-face -face interaction totally matters. Yeah. So we just realized that Zoom wasn't really working for us. We're trying to do it, but then we just ended up not being very intentional with our friendships, which affects our relationship because then we become way too dependent on each other and right. just spend way too much time with each other, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we've realized more than ever too, apart from having a time when we were sick of Zoom, we weren't mm. being as intentional with people, and we were getting crazy with each other. Not all crazy, but crazy. Uh, well, we <laughs> we just realized we need relationships deeply. Mm -hmm. And honestly, we can't be friends with everyone. You can't be doing all the things you were doing before yeah. this. Like, that's just not reality. We're like, who are the p a few people that we really can invest in and, mm -hmm. and bring into our lives that bring in a lot more life and color and meaning. Mm -hmm. um, Julia and Noah are, one of, are two of those people out yeah. of a few others. There was a while we weren't being intentional, but now we've stepped into that season of, mm -hmm. okay, we, we're here, we're done with moping around being a little depressed, like, mm -hmm. let's do it. So I feel like we feel, we've been feeling lately more energized, yeah. we're just ready to go after Mm -hmm. friendships and yeah. take them more seriously yeah like we feel like now this is not as a transitory period as it is probably just life yes. as we know it so good for a couple months if not a year three years who knows how long this is i'm not a physiological scientist <laughs> words <laughs> um but we realized that we have to just get used to this so we've been just trying to go on dates yesterday or two days ago we just went on a date with noah and julia we went hiking which so is fun good. Uh, here are some pictures, but we died doing it, basically. So, I don't even 
know where it was. Our heartbeat <laughs> was beating so freaking fast when we were climbing up like thousands of stairs on the mountain. It was great. Right. Like we got lost in the beginning. So by the time we got there, it was almost noon basically. So it was, it was the peak of the heat that yeah, day. Yeah, we I'm felt sure. like we were in a desert. It was in the 80s and it yeah. was like a desert. Yeah. So that literally made it like an 8 out of 10 difficult, like mm. we're going to die hike. But it was just what we needed. Mm. Yeah, we had tons <laughs> of fun. So friendships have been important and we haven't been doing a good job, but we hope to do a better We've job. We've been taking some strides. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Another change in our marriage has been feeling like we've been on edge. We're not the only ones that feel this way. There's just so much happening yeah. in our world around us and just obviously with our other person and our marriages and our relationships, whatever. Um, it's been kind of hard to feel weightless and confident and, right. and all that and good swagger, stuff. like we feel good about it. Yeah, it's just harder. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, another thing that's been happening as we've been feeling on edge is we snap more, we have less patience for each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we went on a walk yesterday and we had a really good conversation. And we talked about how we really can't be living in this season like it's temporary. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a really good thing we talked about. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. And I haven't been feeling like I've been living temporarily, but I just haven't done anything to really prove that. Another way that our relationship has changed is a good thing, actually. We've been talking about so many negative things, it's sad, but now we're talking about how we feel like we have more time in our relationship, which has been an amazing thing. We've processed a lot, we've articulated of our dreams, goals, uh, things we were frustrated at, at, at uh, different things in our life, we're actually able to talk about. Mm -hmm. When before, there's so many things happening at once and we both get home, we go to sleep, do it all over again the next right. day. We don't have time to process things during the week, but now we do because we're more at home. Um, our schedules are a lot more flexible where mm -hmm. we can talk about things, go for walks in the middle of days, which has been nice. So we just feel like having more time has been actually really beneficial. Having more time in general has been an awesome thing to have in our relationship. Right. And just yesterday, I feel like we keep saying on our walk, on our walk, yeah. the other day, the other day. But because we go on walks a lot. Yeah, and like just this week, we've had a lot of just maybe some, I don't know, reviving conversations, mm -hmm. some breaking the surface type of things. Yeah. But speaking of this, it's like just yesterday, we were able to have a conversation that was hopeful mm -hmm. when it comes to like, okay, what can we like dream about our like one to three year plan and Jake's yeah. a planner, I'm in the moment. Mm -hmm. But anything we dream about, there are things we can do now to yeah. prepare for that. And it is exciting. It's like we're piece by piece able to take part in the journey and the his mm -hmm. and the story we're writing for our lives. Yeah, it's almost like during quarantine, we've been able to work on our lives instead of just always be working in our lives. Okay, like we yeah. do that, we do that. Like quarantine has helped us get to like a, a 30,000 foot view on our lives. Is, our, is right. the trajectory of our life going in the direction that we want it to go? Mm -hmm. And to work on our lives has been pretty cool because we have more time. Right. During our staff meeting from this past week, yes, Jake and I work at the same place, not in the same role, but actually we cross paths a lot. Yes. So during the staff meeting, um, literally before it even started, we got into a fight and mm. argument. Okay. Let me just give you a quick recap of that argument. I literally, we were sitting at our table and it's, you know how, you know, rectangle, there's the short width and then the, the length, whatever. So he was sitting on the smaller side. I'm like, dude, like move over. Like, and I was late. Okay, I forgot that part. Mm -hmm. I was late to the meeting, yep. a few minutes. Nothing's really happening. I know, I know, but like, that's just me. I go with the flow and he's like, on oh, time, on oh, time. Dude, he literally got so frustrated. His adaptability like meter is like <laughs> zero. So literally he's so frustrated. He won't move over. I'm like, this is a jerk move. Uh, I feel like jerk's very like, rough is that a bad word sure go ahead. i'm sorry i was like no i was hurt but then realizing jake is just like no i don't roll like this and he's also hurt in his own way i literally had to walk out on the patio and which is like three steps away from him because there's nowhere to run and we just steamed and then talked about it later and made up and it was good but mm. like when you get into an argument there was nowhere you can run in a small one bedroom apartment yeah there's just like that's also like the together always togetherness of it all is mm. can be hard and frustrating yeah yeah it totally can <laughs> of course i'm always working on my adaptability and it's especially hard if I just need time almost always if I'm really frustrated with something and it's hard to get time away from your spouse if you live in a one bedroom. Like at some point, if I go in the bedroom just to chill because I'm frustrated about something or I need time to process before I apologize or whatever, like 
Kaylee at some point will probably have to come into the bedroom to change or to <laughs> no space. Um, get something because we don't have a lot of stuff. So sometimes it's in the other room. So the togetherness can be frustrating right. sometimes. And we're just working on trying to find more space. But honestly, it's going to just suck. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Living in a one-bedroom apartment is, is hard sometimes, especially when you're mad at each other. Right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And just even thinking back to, like, hey, we got married, like, six months before this. So mm -hmm. married, married life is already a transition, a change. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, but you still go to work. You still go on dates with your friends and all these cool things. But now, like, all the more we're together a whole bunch and we don't have any outlets. Like, just we can maybe do one or two things that get us out recently, which has been helpful, yeah. but it's a scaled back a ton. Mm -hmm. So just that alone is like, okay, this yeah. is a whole nother level of uh, testing. Togetherness, yes. Yeah. <laughs> which also brings me to, I guess my last point is I just feel like we've been more dependent on each other because mm -hmm. quarantine, it's a crisis. So right. we we're, we're consistently always working together, our dialogue, all of that stuff. When in reality, we'd love to be interdependent where we have some type of independence and we're working on hopefully having more independence where we do yeah. separate things. But it's hard when you live in a one bedroom apartment where you're just more dependent on each other than interdependent. Right. Yeah, we're figuring it out. Yeah. Especially in this time, we want to be upfront and honest about what we're struggling with, what we're working through. Yeah. Just. Because we feel it. like, yeah, you're probably going through the same stuff. So right. at least somebody has to say it. Yeah. So we feel somewhat normal during the season. Because no one's been in the season ever. All that stuff. You guys know all of those uh, yes. crazy facts about the coronavirus. <laughs> We're in it together, dude. Yes. So I hope you enjoy this video. Yeah. And we will see you next time.